We all love our dogs, but no one likes picking up dog poop. So what's the problem with dog poop anyway? Why do we have to pick it up? Well, dog poop, just like our poop, contains bacteria, contains other toxins, but it also contains nitrogen and phosphorus. This can be problematic because it can cause algae blooms. Have you ever been around a lake or seen a body of water where there's this really thick green paste? Well, that's an algae bloom. And that's a sign of nutrient loading or high amounts of nitrogen and phosphorus to the water body from things like natural material, but also from things like our dog's poop. So the question is, how much impact does our dog poop have on things like algae blooms and our environment? Let's go find out. So we got our specimen here. Now, the compounds most likely to cause algae blooms are nitrogen and phosphorus. They're considered nutrients. You would think that nutrients would be a good thing, right? But sometimes too much of a good thing is not a good thing. So we're gonna find out how much nutrients, nitrogen and phosphorus, our dog poop has with this kit. So the first thing we are going to test is phosphorus. And that is because freshwater systems like lakes and ponds are called phosphorus limited. And what that means is that there needs to be a certain ratio between nitrogen and phosphorus in order for an algae bloom to form. Now there's plenty of nitrogen around in most freshwater systems and phosphorus is the limiting factor and what's super important for an algae bloom. So that's why we're gonna do that first. Now with marine systems, it's the opposite. Those are nitrogen limited. So we're going to test nitrogen as well. All right, now test tube. Thank you, Chloe. This is my intern, Chloe. She's getting her master's at the University of Florida, which is the best school in the world. Come on. Oh, sorry, Chloe. All right. <laughs> and if you can see, that's, that's a dark green-blue color, which means that we have a high amount of phosphorus. So what we're doing now is testing our nitrogen content. Nitrogen is a nutrient just like phosphorus, and nitrogen is the limiting nutrient in our marine ecosystem. And we see that our nitrate is high in concentration as well. Now we know that there is high amounts of nutrients in our dog's poop, which can be partly responsible for algae blooms wreaking havoc on ecosystems. So remember guys, pick up your dog poop because not only are there nutrients, there's bacteria and other toxins just like there are in our poop. So you don't want that going into our water body because it goes into the water body, goes down into the groundwater, becomes our drinking water. I know it sounds gross, but that's just the way it works. So keep that in mind, whatever you put into the environment eventually comes back to affect your health. 